I will invite Honorable Tasira Rungu, the Honorable MP for Chawama, to speak to the matter of free education uh, briefly, and then we can move on from there. Honorable Tasira Rungu, we have got the floor. Thank you so much, Chief Whip. Um, good afternoon, everyone, and um, the members of the press. Uh, thank you so much for coming. Um, the issue that I wanted to comment on was this issue of free education. Um, as much as Zambians have been looking forward to the free education, I know that all of us are excited to not have to pay school fees. Um, but there are two issues there. The first one is that um, it's not conducive health-wise. Because for us members of parliament, we all can't sit in the chambers. All 156 of us cannot sit in the, in the, in the chamber. We've been separated into different committee rooms. And um, just a few days ago, the Minister of Health said that um, as we speak, we should not be taking off our masks. But now, how safe are these schools for our children who are packed in those classrooms? They are, in some classrooms, there are as many as 200. I'm told the Honorable MP, I'm told the journalists are failing to follow you. Maybe we can permit you to just move the mask a bit. I know, I know it's an health hazard, but for now, we shall allow you to just... Uh, I'm just missing your face. <laughs> so you can so, indeed it's you. The first things first is that it's, it's a health hazard. If members of parliament cannot be in the chamber, all 156 of them cannot be in the chamber, how safe are the classrooms for the children? We have more than 200 in some schools that have taken stock of the schools in Chawama. One classroom has more than 200 students. How safe are they? And then also the issue of quality of education. We're looking forward to quality education. It's, it's not a quality education when one teacher has more than 200 students. They can't even mark the papers. And then there are even different kinds of students in one classroom. Some are special educations. And others learn faster than others. So where's the, the, the free and quality education that was promised? Um, the government has a lot, a lot more work to do, I think. Thank you. Thank you so much. There you have it. Yes, we appreciate the pronouncement about the free education. But if you go and put lump more than 100 children in one little classroom from sitting on the floor, how does that help? Yes, we are coming from the free education, which our colleagues are talking about. Free education was a package. You get into school, you'll be given a free book, a free pencil, and other requisites for, for a pupil. That were given. Are we, yet, are we there yet? The answer is definitely no. We all were sitting on the desks. But you can't claim to have free education and when people are sitting on the floor, like she said, come to health. Us, we can't. We only sat in the chamber yesterday for one purpose, listening to the Italian president. After that, we have reverted to other places to sit. So I think that's a gist of the submission from the Honorable Member for Chawama, that yes, we are happy with the pronouncement, but we need to see more done before we can say, yes, we enjoy our children and enjoy free education.